इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट देन गेट वाला इज योर सिंगल स्टॉप सोल्यूशन एंड दिस गेट वाला इंग्लिश इज अ चैनल डेडिकेटेड फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स वॉन्ट द कंटेंट टू बी इन इंग्लिश सो आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस सेशन वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू गेट सिंगल डिजिट रैंक इन गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑल दो वट इज गोइंग टू बी योर एग्जैक्ट रैंक दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू एंड ऑन योर हार्ड वर्क but in this session we are going to talk about what should be the perfect strategy see if you are preparing for gate 2027 then i am assuming most of you are in your second year or third year of college right some of you might be in your final year some of you might already have been graduated but most of you will be in college so how you can plan your gate preparation along with the college that we are going to talk about we are going to understand what should be the perfect timeline we are going to understand which subject you should start with we are going to understand how to prepare your notes how to schedule how to revise so all these points we are going to discuss in this session so i welcome all of you once again let's begin the first thing is timeline see if you are preparing for gate 2027 then you have roughly one and a half year right it means around 540 days so how you should plan these 540 days if you are just starting to prepare then i would suggest you start with 4 to 6 hours per day for at least 3 to 6 months until you get the habit of getting into these studies until you understand how you should prepare for gate how you should prepare any subject how you should watch the lectures then prepare your notes then solve the dpps pyqs so unless and until you get the habit of it you should not hurry and you should not start with very long hours because you'll not be able to cope up with that and soon you will drop your studies so instead of doing that we will start easy we'll start only with 4 to 6 hours per day and this includes the lecture watching time for example if your lecture is 2 to 3 hours long then beta you will get 1 2 hours of self study every day and on saturdays and sundays this duration can be a little bit longer because usually what people do is whatever hours they are putting during the weekdays during the weekends it gets up to 150% 200% right for example on weekdays if you are studying 5 hours per day on weekends you can study up to 10 hours okay so that you can make up for the whatever you have left during the weekday okay now once you get the habit then after that for one year i would suggest you increase this time to 6 to 8 hours per day okay so this is your time limit okay now if you are starting your gate preparation just now then you should aim that your syllabus must be over by the end of november in 2026 okay so it will give you at least two months of revision time december and january two months are more than enough for revision during this period you will revise whatever you have studied in this time and you will also give your mock test and you will prepare for writing the exam okay so November 2026 should be your aim for completing the syllabus and last two months December and January should be kept for revision purpose okay now the most important thing is which subject you should start with so whatever your branch is i would suggest always start with basic subject what do we mean by basic subject basic subject means these are the subjects which do not require any knowledge of other subjects they are not related to any other subject you can start this subject independently and the concepts that you are going to study in this subject will be used in other subjects so it is going to benefit you for other subjects also so for example if you are starting with engineering mathematics this is the best subject to start your preparation why because mathematics do not require the knowledge of any other subject okay you can study this independently second mathematics has a high weightage in gate exam if you compare it with any other subject 13 marks are fixed for engineering mathematics so this is most probably the highest weightage subject for all engineering branches third point 
whatever you are going to study here it is going to be used in other subjects also the concepts of engineering mathematics they will be used in other subjects so they will benefit you okay now if you are computer science engineering student you can start with c programming also if you are mechanical and civil student engineering mechanics best subject to start and if you are electrical electronics student then basic electricals or basic electronics is the best subject to start okay so these are the subjects but it's not necessary that you should start with only these subject any basic subject you can start your preparation with okay now when you start your preparation it is very important to schedule why because if you do not schedule if you are just randomly studying every day if you don't have a proper plan you will not be able to cover the syllabus on time you will not be able to understand whether your preparation is going in the right direction whether you should put more hours all these things you will not have any idea of so it is very important that you prepare a proper schedule you should have a yearly plan okay for example if you want to complete your syllabus by november then you should know every month how much syllabus should be covered so that 100% syllabus will be over by the end of november okay then you should have a monthly weekly as well as daily plans okay so you can divide your monthly plan into weeks okay so let's say for example i want to study x amount of syllabus this month now this x will be divided in four weeks x by 4 x by 4 x by 4 x by 4 so now i have a weeks plan now this weekly plan will be further divided into daily plan okay so i should know that tomorrow when i will wake up what should be my goal for the day how many lectures do i need to watch how many dpps do i need to solve how many pyqs do i need to solve so you should have a daily schedule also so that you do not waste even a single hour of your time okay i am not saying that you should prepare the schedule of 24 hours that i will wake up at 6 am then i will do this by 7 am no i am not talking about that i am just talking about writing your goals for the day for example let's say tomorrow i have to watch one lecture then i have to solve the dpp of that lecture then i have to solve the pyqs of this particular topic so these three bullet points are my goal for tomorrow so tomorrow when i will wake up and when i will start studying i will know that this 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 is what i need to study i should not wonder what i will study today okay because it will waste your time and your goal will not be covered right your goal will not be completed so daily schedule weekly schedule monthly schedule yearly schedule you have to prepare all this schedule and know that nobody is perfect nobody is going to 100% uh, follow this schedule but even if you follow 70 to 80 percent of this schedule you will be on track okay the second most important thing for college going students especially is time management why because you have limited time so you should effectively utilize this time right now a lot of in college going students have this uh, complaint that along with the college how we can prepare for gate it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort sometimes we are not able to cope up with these two things first of all you need to understand that gate is the only exam where the syllabus matches with your engineering right so whatever you are studying here you are also studying the same things in your semesters right so it helps a lot in your semester exams right a lot of uh, subjects that you are going to study here they will help you in the semester exams as well right now up, along with the college how you can cope up with your gate exam that is very important to understand see last two three years we are seeing this trend that third year students are under top 10 in fact in gate 2025 in electronics branch all india rank one was a third year student so you can understand that nowadays people are not only covering their syllabus along with their college but they are also under top 10 right so beta what points you should understand see the first thing use your college time effectively see all these students who have prepared along with their college they used to utilize the college time see you'll get a lot of free time during your college for example 
लेट्स से यू हैव पीरियड ऑफ और लेट्स से यू हैव ट्रेवल टाइम सो ऑल दिस टाइम कैन बी यूटिलाइज नाउ वॉट यू शुड डू इज यू शुड कंप्लीट योर थियोरिटिकल एंड लेस न्यूमेरिकल इंटेंसिव टॉपिक्स ड्यूरिंग द क्लास और ड्यूरिंग वॉट एवर ब्रेक्स यू हैव इन योर कॉलेज ओके वाई बिकॉज दे डू नॉट नीड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अटेंशन ओके सेकेंड थिंग use uh, complete the college assignments and reports in college itself do not bring all these things to your home so that when you reach your home your entire time will be dedicated to your gate preparation see once you get your home once you get to your home if you have uh, a lot of assignments to solve if you have a lot of homework to solve you'll not be able to prepare for gate right so whatever assignments you have whatever reports you need to make try to cover it during the college hours so that once you get to your home entire time is dedicated for gate okay next solve practice questions and pyqs during break time in the library period see if you have free time if you have if you can go to library then you can solve the pyqs and practice questions there okay then on weekends cover lengthy topics see sometimes what happens is we have some very uh, long dpps or we have a lot of pyqs to solve for a particular chapter so what you can do is on saturdays and sundays when you have longer period of longer time for your gate preparation you can plan all these things during that time okay so saturdays and sundays this time uh, during these weekends you should put at least 8 to 10 hours and you should cover all the lengthy topics during that time okay next thing resources see what resources we should use nowadays we do not have lack of resources in fact we have lot of resources so which resources we should pick which are the optimum resources we can use for our gate preparation that is very important to understand so the first thing is see in every branch most of the gate questions are numericals right the most important thing is from where these numericals should be practiced so all your class notes problems okay because whatever class note problems are there they are relevant and they are also based on gate right there the pattern is similar to gate so class notes problems then along with that if you are getting dpps for example if you are in gate wala if you have uh, enrolled in any of our batches you get daily practice problems for every chapter for every topic you get da daily practice problems right so these are also a very good source of numericals then along with that weekly test every week we have tests so in weekly test also you get lot of questions based on gate pattern so beta weekly test is another resource you can use then previous year questions this is the must once you cover every chapter you should always solve the pyqs of those chapter so you should have a pyq book where the questions are segregated topic wise not only chapter wise but also topic wise if you have our gate pyq book the questions are segregated subject wise then chapter wise then topic wise so once you cover any chapter or any topic you can solve the pyqs of those topics or chapters so that first you will understand what type of questions are being asked from this particular topic in gate exam actual exam second thing you will also get a confidence because if you are able to solve the gate previous year questions means your concepts are clear but let's say i cover one particular topic okay i have solved all the questions related to that topic but once i am solving the pyqs 50% problems i am not able to solve that means my concepts are not clear so i should go back and i should understand where i am lacking which concepts i am not understanding okay so this is very important and last but not the least test series join a good test series where you get mock test you get subject wise test you you get topic wise test okay because this test series is also a very good source of numericals and apart from that you should start practicing writing your gate exam from right now okay so test series is another very good resource notes how you should prepare your notes so understand this there are two types of notes one class notes lengthy notes okay so during your preparation if you are preparing any subject then after watching every lecture you should prepare your class notes also okay these are lengthy notes 
okay these are full notes but along with that for every subject you should also have short notes why because see these lengthy notes you will not be able to revise every month or every two months okay these lengthy notes are used during the revision time when you will cover your 100% syllabus and in the last two months when you will start revision of every subject these notes will be utilized during that time or if you have doubt in any topic then these notes will be utilized but periodically if you want to revise if say you want to revise whatever you have studied every 15 days or every month then that is only possible by short notes so you have you should have short notes for every subject 20 30 40 pages okay that is enough for any average subject and these short notes should include definitions diagrams and formula only whatever you need to memorize those things should be in your short notes you should not write your numericals you should not write all the steps those are not required in short notes what you should cover in short notes formulae definition diagrams okay which you need to remember okay revision see in your gate exam there are 10 12 subjects right on average 10 12 subjects for every branch so once you start covering those subjects for example let's say i have covered three subjects and now i am studying the fourth subject beta all those three subjects that i have studied i should revise those subjects right otherwise when you are when, when you will uh, when you will cover the entire syllabus 100% syllabus is over and when you will look back then during the initial 3 4 months whatever you have studied you will forget so you need to periodically revise whatever you are studying you need to revise it again again and again because you have 10 12 subjects in every subject there are 10 12 chapters in every chapter there are 10 12 topics so there are lot of topics to cover right so what should be your revision strategy first read short notes you should have a schedule for revision for example every 15 days i will revise whatever subject i have covered right one subject two subject three subject four subject whatever subjects i have covered every 15 days or every week i will revise the short notes of those subjects then solve the pyqs and class problems randomly so that you will have an idea that okay this topic i remember but this topic i'm not able to solve the pyqs so i will go back and i will watch whatever formula i have forgotten or whatever concept i have forgotten okay so you can solve these pyqs and class problem randomly okay pick random questions solve if you are able to solve okay if you're not able to solve go back study again revise again write topic wise and subject wise mock tests so this will help you to understand where you are lacking which topics you need to revise again okay analyze the gaps and revise from the lecture see once you cover all this you will understand okay this topic this topic is okay this topic this topic i have to cover again okay so this is all from my side for your gate preparation if you follow these strategies I am 100% sure you will be able to do much better in your gate exam okay. So if you are preparing for gate 2027 or gate 2028 you have a lot of time you can start early so that you will have a competitive edge among the other students over the other students okay. So I hope this session helped you in some way I will see you in another session till then bye bye take care Jai.